Hey guys, Gropes here, and you're watching some Guild Wars 2. Um, this is the personal story, or well, at least my personal story ready? of my Let's thief character, messed. basically my main. And uh, here we had to make a distraction so that we could get into ranges. the place hey, the or whatever, I don't even remember. But yeah, we made all what these the uh, pack bulls, like here. freaked them out, and I thought I had to follow them. But really where I, <laughs> where I needed to go was behind them. So I was here, I turned around and I was like, oh, stupid me. So I like quick tried to get back uh, using my bow skill. Oh my gosh. But yeah, I thought you guys might want to see some of the personal story. This is like around level 30 um, story. I decided to start here because this is when the story actually gets really interesting. So from here to the end of the personal story, I'm going to uh, make videos for you guys. Um, and if you guys get lost or whatever, there's plenty of other um, videos where it tells you the story before this point. But um, you can, I don't really read most of the things, so you can pause and read them if you'd like. I love this guy. This guy is hilarious. He sounds just like, like the voice actor for him sounds just like Seth Rogen, I swear. Uh, maybe I'm crazy or something. If you guys don't know who Seth Rogen is, it's the... Oh, how do I explain it? It's the guy from Pineapple Express, if you've ever seen that movie. Um, it's not the drug dealer from Pineapple Express, it's the guy who's with the drug dealer. And if you guys have no idea what Pineapple Express is, you're going to judge me based on what uh, how I there describe Pineapple Express. And think I'm a person. Blah, blah, to me in our custody, right? But I'm going to shut up for Ransom. these uh, cutscenes, ah, sorry. Slag iron. And who sent... Ah, oh, here. Cordially yours, Captain Jane of the Jackdaws. Demi's been kidnapped by pirates. Cool. D I mean, interesting. That explains why Demi didn't make her meeting with the Order. Does the note say where she's been taken? Of course not. But the Jackdaws dock on the far shore of the lake to the north. We should check there. If we disguise ourselves, I bet we can slip right in. If they notice, we'll pass ourselves off as a couple of new hands. I'll scrounge up some jackdaw clothes and meet you there. Hang on, that sounds dangerous. Don't we need to check in with someone before we go further? Does the Order know you're doing this? We operate independently enough for this. The Master of Whispers relies on my discretion. If he trusts me, Initiate, so should you. So yeah, we're basically trying to rescue Demi from these uh, pirates. Um, Demi is like, oh, I forget who she is. She's, um, she's related to someone, I forget. Um, she might, oh, I, I can't What's even next? remember because it's been so long since I've gone through this storyline. I'm sorry it took me so long to make videos for you guys, but, like, I was super busy with, like, school and helping my grandparents move. They just bought, well, they just sold their huge place, like, 40 acres, so I had to, help them auction off all their stuff and stuff like that. Ah, oh, you don't want to hear about that real world stuff. And, um, yeah, I basically just teleport to the area where the, the quest is, because I do a bunch of these um, story quests in a row, because I was out-leveled for most of them. And here we are on this uh, shore here. I really like these quests. These quests were hilarious. We get to do a drinking game here soon. That's what this is. Um, and I couldn't figure out what to do for the drinking game, <laughs> so I'm sorry that I'm going to be standing there for a minute until I figure out what to do. Alright, what are we doing here? Keep the jack jaw pirates occupied so Tybalt can search for Demi. Yes, and I wonder how I'm going to keep pirates occupied. Yes, that's right, folks. We're going to get shit-faced. And I didn't even realize it, but all my stuff is, like, broken right now. I think that's why I have, like, no clothes on. Either that or it's a disguise. I, I think I have all my stuff broken. I think it's like a glitch, but I'll shut up now. Yar, me hearties. I'll wager my buddy here can drink you foul-smelling lot out of the table. Now, who's got the guts to challenge us? A drinking competition? What are you doing? Shh, just go with it. Trust me. Who are you, scoundrels? And what's your wager? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm two tibs of whisker, and this is, uh, blood-covered backstabbing Blackjack the Blade. Yeah. 
Then our wager is two fistfuls of gold. Are you in? Aye, I'm in. Jack Dawes, belly up to the bar. Fill your mugs and lay your money down. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. <laughs> oh, I just love this guy. He's he's my um guardian in the in the uh, whispers or whatever. Well, I mean, I'm technically not part of the whispers yet. I think. Oh wait, no, I did. I decided to join the whispers, and now he's my guardian. Now I have to win the drinking competition. And for the for the life of me, I'm sitting here trying to click on stuff this entire time, looking like a freaking idiot. And I didn't even realize that it, my skill bar has changed. So I'm like running around, like, oh yeah, maybe I have to talk to this guy. Maybe I'm on the wrong side of the table. What the heck is going on here? So I'm just like freaking out. I'm like, uh, do I have something in my inventory? Uh, no. Duh. Dumb, dumb, dumb. Oh, this is such a blonde moment for me, guys. So I apologize, you have to watch through this. You can skip through it. It'll be like another like 30 seconds, I think. So I apologize for that. I guess I'll just say that, um... Well, I'll say what I, I think about this game so far. So far, I'm yeah. really enjoying this game. Um, and this is what happens when you try to get off of the um, off the boat. It just puts you right back. See, so watch. Puts me right back to the spot where I'm supposed to be. But, yeah, I really enjoy this game. Um, unfortunately, I haven't gotten to Endgame yet because I've been playing other games like yeah. Counter-Strike Global Offensive and DayZ. Which I'm gonna be making more videos for you guys. I'm definitely. I know I haven't put up any Daisy videos yet, but I've been kind of waiting for my buddy to play with because it's kind of boring to just commentate by myself um, while playing Daisy and trying to not die. So it's much easier if I have someone there with me, you know, like cracking jokes and stuff. And so I'm waiting for my buddy to get online, and then we're gonna, or my buddy to actually be online at the same time that I am. And then we're gonna record some commentary for Daisy. I can't wait for that. Huh? Daisy is so much fun, guys. Don't get in um, but yeah, I've been playing a lot of Counter Strike Global Offensive as well. I'm trying to get on um, a team right now for the first season of Go, for Sevo and for ESEA. Um, I've been try I've been playing. I've been playing with a lot of different teams lately, and I'm yeah. trying to figure out which team I want to join. But here we go. Now we're starting the um, the drinking contest. I finally figured out what I had to do. Like a freaking idiot. Here we go. So basically you have to like make them lose all their health and there's all these different uh, skills at the bottom. I scroll over them eventually. Yeah, see here it shows the first one. And you have to make them lose all their health and I don't have him Oh, excuse me. I had to yawn there. I'm tired. I didn't have. I don't have him like um, selected right now. I have that Jack Jaw sniper behind me selected, so you can't see like how his health is um, being diminished. But it is right now by us drinking. And you basically have to get his health all the way down to zero. And I got his health down, so he he um, gets knocked out. And then we have a new competitor, new contender. Who has probably the stomach size of my like my finger, and is gonna try to win a drinking contest against me? Ah, uh, silly Asura, I swear. <laughs> oh my! Gotta compensate for their small size, I guess. Oh, that was a harsh blow. I know. See how his health is uh, decreasing there. But yeah, there was a couple times when uh, it came pretty close to me losing this. Oh, I'm sorry, I yawned again. But yeah, there was a couple times it came pretty close to me losing this competition. And uh, I was really scared that I was going to have to do it all over again. Because this whole thing takes like a while. Oh my. But I really like these story quests. Like these are the funnest quests in the game, honestly. These are the best. Like I do the dynamic events and the hearts and these with the story. This I love the story. I'm glad I chose human. 
um, because I'm loving the human story so far. I think the next the next uh, tune I'm gonna make is gonna be a char, just because that way I have both sides. Like humans are very anti-char, and char for the most part are very anti-human. I know it's racism in a video game. Oh no, but um, it's really. I think it'd be really cool to see the different perspectives of each side um, throughout the whole story. So that's why I'm probably going to make a char next. And then I'll do the entire storyline for the char for you guys when I do do that. But first I want to get through this story. And I'm sorry that I, I didn't make any videos up until this part of the story. But this is when like you get to make the decision of what... Um, what faction you're gonna choose like if you're gonna do the order of whispers the seraph guys who are like uh military warrior people or if you're gonna do want be part of the scholars and i chose to be part of the whispers because you know i'm a thief like why wouldn't i want to be like very secretive and um like a secret agent no i'm just kidding but yeah this guy took me forever grana guzzle maw but yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys will catch on to the storyline here as we go through the the um, the quests or whatever. But if you want to see the previous um, the previous parts of the story, there's there's like millions of videos on YouTube about the story. Um, so you can it's the human story. Um, if you can find human and uh, well, I mean, thief is somewhat different too, so you have to find a human thief, which shouldn't be too hard. There's a lot of people who play thieves. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the cool thing about this game is that you can be so many different combinations of uh, race and skills, I mean, race and profession, and that will give you different story outcomes, different story paths and stuff, which is really cool. Like, that's. It's. The, repl the replayability is so high for this game, which is awesome, and it's free to play, so, like, I don't know. I'm glad I, I bought this game. I'm really excited. And for the upcoming games that I'm probably going to be playing, it will be, um, obviously the Daisy standalone, but in the near future, Planet Side 2, I'll be getting that game. And other than that, um, I want to get into the Battlefield 4 beta and get some uh, videos of that if they don't have an NDA. Um, so I'm going to be doing that, but we'll see We'll see if I can get into the Battlefield 4 beta. Oh, and Black Ops 2. I'm going to be playing that. Hopefully they have zombies, because I really want to play zombies. Um, that's like the really... Oh, I'll shut up here. Unbelievable! The newcomer Blackjack is the last drinker standing. We got ourselves a new potentate of potables! Surprise, surprise, eh, Cabrillo? I mean, yar, flotsam and jetsam. Now, how about that wager? Fine, fine. I'll go fetch your gold, you thieving sea whisker. Okay, listen up. While you were guzzling away, I found to me. She's under heavy guard on the other side of the water. So there was a plan after all. Beyond getting me sloshed, I mean. Of course there was. What did I tell you? You just have to trust me. <laughs> I love this guy. He's got to get his money. He's got to get paid, even though we were totally messing with him the whole time. And he's got to get me drunk. <laughs> oh, jeez. This, this guy just cracks me up. I'm so glad I chose uh, the Order of the Whispers. But yeah, like I was saying, I want to play Black Ops 2, but I want to only play Black Ops 2 mainly because I want to play zombies. Because if they put zombies in that game, I was so addicted to zombies in Black Ops the first. But, um, yeah, I love zombies. I will put up, like, millions and millions of zombie videos. I'll see how the multiplayer is, too. I'll probably put up some multiplayer videos, but I don't have high hopes for the multiplayer, honestly. You know, it's just another Call of Duty multiplayer. But I'm sure there are people who will watch it. <laughs> I really don't care. I'm only going to play things that entertain me. So if it's entertaining... Oh, Jesus. See, this guy, he says follow me. So you basically have to go at his pace. And if you pass him, you must wait longer for him. 
he'll stop because he's upset that that you went on without him. He's a little self-conscious about his weight, I think, or his uh, his endurance, his stamina. He's quite slow. See, look at it. He stops just right when I just barely pass him. It's ridiculous. Oh, they need to change that. But whatever. First world problems, guys. First world problems. But yeah, like I was saying, if I find the Black Ops 2 multiplayer um, fun and entertaining for me, then I will make videos about it. See, this is why I made videos about this instead of, like, the actual, uh, like, World v. World. I mean, World v. World is fun, but it's only fun if you have, like, oh, jeez, people are paging me now. Uh, <laughs> that's the people that want me to play Counter-Strike Go. So, I will play with them in a little bit once I get done. No, stop paging me! I gotta message them real quick. Hold on here. Oh, Jesus. Just a second here, guys. Alright. What's going on here? Two tibs of whiskey. Oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> he thinks he's gonna, like, convince this guy that he is legitimate so he doesn't have to do any work. Nope, not gonna happen. And see, I don't have any of my armor on, I don't think. Yeah, all of my stuff was broken when we went to the... When we went to look at my stuff earlier, all my stuff was broken. So I am basically doing this mission naked. That's why it's, like, extra hard. But, you know, it adds a little bit of excitement. And I'm using Double Dacker right now. Just because I, I really like Double Dacker. Like, it's pro it's not the, like, best PvE um, weapon set. set. I believe um, Sword Pistol Offhand is the best PvE weapon set, but I like Double Dagger just because it's easy for me to tag enemies. If you don't know what tagging is, that's when you just hit them so that you can get um, credit for killing them when they do die. And when you're questing, you're going to have a lot of um, large-scale fights where there's lots of other people, like, doing the same thing that you are. So you want to be able to tag very easily. I'll shut up. Aren't you a little sober to be a pirate? Look, we're with the Order of Whispers. We've been sent to get you out of here. We're here to abscond with you, and with the beer. The beer's already vanished into thin air, so now it's your turn. Thank the goddess, Lissa. I was starting to think the Order had forgotten me. Do you have a plan to get out of this place alive? Sort of. The idea starts with run for it and generally goes downhill from there. Come on. Tell me there's more to this rescue than staggering and everything. Fast and brutal. Well, see, when one part of a plan works, I like to stick with it. Sub rescue. No wonder you're called the Order of Whispers. Nobody would brag about this. Watch it, princess. Strong. Time to bust some heads. I'll 
escort Demi to the Lion's Arch safe house. Meet us there. Oh my gosh, my mic was not on for that entire time. Okay, well, I, I accidentally gave out a spoiler, I think, anyway, so it's good that that, um, that my mic was off, I guess. But, okay, so what I was saying is I realize who Demi is now. Demi is the niece of one of the, um, oh wait, was I talking that entire time? I don't know. But I'll just say it real quick. Demi is the niece of Codicus Beetlestone, who is a very bad man, who's like the man behind the curtain for what's been happening in the story lately um, with... Um, it's like a very... He's like saying that he's like a minister, I guess, and like doing, you know, very bad things as a minister, telling people to do things, and just being part of the whole corrupt system. So, we're basically trying to stop that. And he's... Well, I don't know if he personally... But he he's part of the plot against uh, Queen Jenna. And our loyalty lies with Queen Jenna because she's a good queen who is trying to unite um, all of the um, nations. Um, especially the Char. Because we don't want to be at war with the Char. So, Queen Jenna's legit. At least so far that I've seen. Not enough energy. Oh my. I'm sorry if I said that twice, guys. I couldn't tell if my mic was on or not. <laughs> I apologize. I don't have enough energy. Oh jeez. It's too early. I think I'm going bananas really here. Care. It's so early. Oh, I woke up early and I'm like, I should do this commentary. Because I've had this video like recorded forever. <laughs> but more will come, I promise. I will be making videos on a tighter schedule. A more... Um, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? A a more consistent schedule. There we are. All right, I'll shut up now. Oh wait, no. Is this is this a cutscene? I can't remember. Oh, head to the Order of the Whispers safe house in Lion's Arch. Okay. Here we are. Tibbled. Thank the Lady of the Mirror. I thought something terrible had happened. Your first field mission, and you go out of contact. Hang on. First mission? I thought I was the newcomer. Uh, well, yeah. I might have overstated that. I've been in the Order for years, but this is my first time in the field. Initiate. My name is Lady Wee. I'm the Order's agent within the Crichton Ministry. This rough-looking gentleman is Ben Tenstrikes, my protector. I was supposed to get Demi safely out of Divinity's reach, but I got sacked by Ministry guards. You're lucky to be alive, Ben. Codicus wields great power in Krita, and he's none too pleased about his daughter's desertion. How did Landon find me? There's no way the Ministry guard could have tracked me this far from Divinity's reach. Your father probably purchased a tracking enchantment. Do you have anything you never removed? Something he knew you'd keep with you? My mother's necklace. He's using it to follow me? My father is a cold-hearted snake. This safe house will block such divining. But when you leave here, you will be found. Lion's Arch is no longer safe for you. Tybalt, initiate. You must take Demi to the Chantry of Secrets right away. She'll be safe there. Your father's treachery could be useful to us, Demi. If Commander Landon is following the enchantment, we can use it to lead him awry. Clever. Now let's work out the details so we can get the me out of here safe and sound. Okay, so Commander Landon is the guy who's been corrupted by Zaitan and has, like, been, um, trying... He's been helping the Risen, which are, like, undead zombie things. He's been, like, leading them... Because apparently Queen Jenna has, like, royal blood. Well, I mean, obviously she has royal blood, but he's been told that he needs royal blood um, to to lift the curse that's been um, 
uh, lift the curse that's been put on him by Zaitan. So he's trying to get the royal blood from Queen Gemma. I'm pretty sure that's right. Yes. That is correct. I am always right. And here we're talking to Demi, blah, 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 blah. Okay. We have to figure out a way to get her to the Chantry of Secrets. And I decided... I, I read this, so it takes me a second to get through everything. And I'm pretty sure that I decide to use a decoy and lay a false trail. Which is a good decision, because you don't want to put this chick in harm's way. Um, because then she will, like, you know, not be able to give us information if she dies. Which is a bad thing. I mean, I care about the girl and all, but, like, her information is more important to me. <laughs> I know. I'm cold-blooded murderer. But I'm a thief, so that's just how I am, I guess. RP for the win. Uh, speak with Lady Wee. Oh, jeez. Here we go again. We've decided to leave a false trail and trick the Ministry Guard into an ambush. Once they're out of the way, it'll be easier to get Demi to safety. Tybalt and I will lay an ambush while Ben gets Demi out of the city. After we've handled Landon, we'll meet up with you again. If you're determined to do this, at least let me make the ruse a good one. With a little magical assistance, Tybalt will make an excellent Demi Beetlestone. Wait, 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 wait. Making a char like me look like her? I hope you have some mighty strong magic up your sleeve. Don't worry. You'll make a beautiful decoy, Tybalt. You're putting your life in danger for my safety. I won't forget this. Thank you. Thank you all. Alrighty then. Ah, uh, people are freaking messaging me. Uh, well, I'll have to finish uh, the rest of this story um, another time. But, yeah. So I appreciate you guys for watching and stuff. Sorry. I will explain all of the story. Um, well, not all the story, but I will explain what I, what I was talking about. Um, basically what's already happened is we've already fought this Commander Landon, um, against Queen Jenna when he was trying to come for her. So that's what I was talking about. We already fought him and now I think he's still a threat. Um, but I'm not exactly sure. We're going to figure this all out. I'm sorry. I've tried, I'm confusing you guys and all that. Oh my gosh, so I apologize for all that. But yeah, and then the end of this video, I forgot what did I do. Maybe I got to the the area, and then I stopped from there. But I can't remember. We'll see what happens here. But I promise the next commentary, I will be very more clear and concise about the um, what's actually happening. But yeah... Thanks for watching this video, guys, and as usual, until next time.